one of the big changes between the 2019 and 2020 robots is the claw. In the 2019 version, due to its structure which was able to deal with a larger perimeter, it was possible to rescue several victims without identifying them. In the 2020 version, with the rescue individually, a system was developed to identify whether the victim is alive or dead. In the 2019 version of the robot, two components of the I2C protocol were used. The MPU, which is an accelerometer and gyroscope module, and the RTC, which monitored the execution time of the microcontroller. Both are extremely important for orientation in a round, but they have random glitches. When studying more deeply about the I2C, it was discovered that the reason for the crashes was related to the pull-up resistors, necessary for its correct functioning. To facilitate the use of the mentioned modules, the manufacturers install such resistors directly on the board, and, therefore, there is no need to make external connections. The point is that when using more than one I2C component at the same time, the resistors are associated in parallel, decreasing their total resistance and consequently increasing the operating current. In the datasheet of the I2C protocol, it was identified that for its satisfactory operation, there is a current limit equivalent to 3 mA. In this way, in order to solve the blockages, the internal resistors of the plates were removed and the pull-up connections were shown externally with the necessary resistance so that the current did not exceed the reference value. The elaboration of a well-structured power supply was essential to ensure the correct energization of the robot and to inhibit the impact of the oscillation of electric current and voltage to the electronic components. The main focus of the wiring diagram is to ensure that voltage regulators establish efficient distribution along the component's power plate and DC traction motors. A specific PCB was developed for line tracking and identification of intersections. It is noteworthy that the cycle for making a PCB adopted by the team is Development of PCBs ensures that an electronic quality standard is in fact established. Since 2019, the team has been modeling the robot's design in 3D software in order to be able to develop a gut structure, minimize assembly errors and facilitate the visualization of how the robot will overcome the challenges of the competition. This prototype was used to test the new DC motors adopted for the 2020 season in order to obtain greater precision and speed. The central idea was to model a robot with reduced X extremities to facilitate the avoidance of obstacles. Without losing the positive characters already implemented, the 2020 project has been improved, taking into account the installation of each electronic component, cable routing, and the new challenges of the competition. To then have its first version made of MDF. Necessary adjustments involving the positioning of the traction motors and grapple adaptations were incorporated into the project after the first assembly and tests were carried out. After the restructuring of the project, the robot prototype was produced in acrylic. The making of a caterpillar track with special characters was necessary due to problems caused by speed bumps in the season of 2018. In 2019, a mode was designed in 3D software enabling the production of the silicon rubber mat. 2020, the idea was to improve the track by producing it in flexible material on the 3D printer using TPU. The TPU did not provide the necessary grip near the arena floor 
and in tests carried out on the range, the robot ended up skidding, confirming the insatisfactory result. After a survey of ideas, the Sunken rubber was again used to make only the teeth of the track, part of which has directly contact with the floor. Such a solution returned the necessary grip for the gut locomotion of the robot. The brain of the robot is the Arduino Mega microcontroller, programmed to the Arduino platform, based on the C++ programming language. To facilitate the understanding of programming, one of the strategies used is to leave the names of the functions in capital letters and of the variables and constants in lowercase. With the advancement of Teams programming logic, the creation of customized libraries has become indispensable. This feature is extremely useful because it allows the development of a series of functions for a given component and, in this way, modularize the code for sharing and continued use. Based on the extensive material found on the internet, libraries for the ultrasonic components, gyroscope, distance sensor were adapted and constituted, as well as for the manipulation and identification of colors in the RGB standard, the same used in visual communication software. Through a LDR articulated with a high brightness RGB LED, it is possible to obtain varied analog readings. Such variations occur according to the reaction of the electronic component with the light emitted by the LED. Applying filters involving mathematical calculations, it is possible to identify and differentiate colors. To identify them, the LDRs are first calibrated using a function for collecting and processing the obtained analog data. In this process, it is necessary to point the sensors at a white surface. Thus, the RGB LEDs will be lit following the red, green and blue pattern, one color at a time. And while lit, the Arduino performs readings with the LDRs and stores them in its e prone memory. The same scheme is repeated, place the sensors in black. Once these procedures are completed, the robot will already be able to identify the colors, such as, for example, the green strip at an intersection. The development of tracks with a high degree of complexity is one of the team's strategies to help identify the robot's difficulties and prevent possible unforeseen events that may occur during competitions. The training tracks are planned and designed first in linear design software, taking into account extreme situations. The study, tests and construction of the programming logic are in progress. The pending issues are mainly around the ramps. One is that due to instabilities in the robot's center of gravity, it is not yet possible to go down a ramp from the front. The issues of intersections were also not addressed, although it is possible to overcome during a clean challenges of gaps and simple speed bumpers. The seesaw challenge is still untreated. Another point to highlight is the testing phase in which the new distance sensor adopted by the team it is still to be found. It is the VL53L0X model, which has a long computational responsive time, impacting both the identification of the obstacles and the lightning tracking itself. It is worth mentioning that this component is also of fundamental importance for identifying the rescue kit. In terms of obstacle avoidance, the logic on the ground floor is well structured, but there are still no tests carried out on elevated platforms. The last thing pending is due to the logic, not yet implemented to identify the red band that indicates the end of the path to be reached by the robot. <laughs>